Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We uh, we were here yesterday, recorded a video, and had all kinds of technical difficulties. Right off the bat, I had a microphone that wasn't working. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just I'll just voice over that for you. That'll save me having to re-record a whole intro. So here it is. Hey, welcome back to the channel. And uh, click thumbs up and I'm begging you to, you know, click subscribe and whatever. Today we're going to work on the church bell. and I got my buddy Dave here. He's going to help me. So what do you think, Dave? You ready to work on the church bell? Yeah, sure. Hey, I got you a birthday card. Hey, thanks. Great. And a cup of coffee. How about that? Whoa, that's all right. Is that really coffee or something? gross dave's a sport so he's gonna try it well it's too hot too hot okay well then you got the birthday card anyways oh why'd you no name on it well i don't put the names on so you can give it to somebody else later you know my mother gave it to me last night and you know she don't put the names on them either so enjoy saves you money Oh, Dave says the cover's mildly inappropriate. It's a picture of our buddy Steve doing plumbing at home. Oh, my. Yep. Okay. Well, I got all the crap in the truck. We're ready to get up there and work on the bell. I'm going to put this in my truck. Okay. So I got all the... A lot of crap I already carried up there, and I got a lot of crap here in the truck, and I think I've got most all of the heavy stuff put into this bag right here, but uh, Dave actually doesn't know that in this part, so that bag right there, so Dave will carry that. Oh, hey Dave, how you doing? Hey, thanks for letting me carry this heavy bag up all the stairs, it's great. You're the best friend, I think, ever. Is this where we're going for lunch? Yeah, Dave, come on down, uh... We'll have lunch. It's down here. There's a restaurant up here that I know about. It's a good one. I feel like I'm being suckered into something dumb here. No, no. No, it's good. All right. So here we are in the belfry. The idea is we're going to hang a block and tackle up. And that's our safety. That's Dave's idea. Dave's all about the safety. So that if the worst should happen, our blocking should fail. Hopefully the bell would hang on the rope, at least temporarily, and maybe fall crooked enough that it would lodge in this area up here. <laughs> lodging. That's what we're looking for, lodging. Uh, so, just, what do you think, the, what would happen, do you think, if we dropped the bell? Like, worst case. W worst case? No, like, reasonable. Don't, like, make up crazy worst cases, but, like, for real, worst case... <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think that's going to stop it myself. I don't think it is. <laughs> Did you put up any signs down there? Danger, no. do not go in the balcony No, area. but nobody's here. Oh, yeah, it's Sunday. Why would somebody right. be at a church <laughs> I mean, on it's after, Sunday? It's afternoon, so I think we're safe. You're going to climb up there and do that. You know the thing about that? It's not really a ladder. It's not a ladder. It's just 100-year-old boards nailed up with 100-year-old nails. But the other thing is... It leans back, it leans the wrong way. It yeah. doesn't look like much now, but I'm gonna, you go ahead and, and we're gonna see how it feels part way up. Oh, weird. Cause I don't like it. It's a little sketchy. You know what else I don't like is how you, when you're climbing it, you're pulling the nails out. Yeah. I mean, they're not coming out, but that's the direction you're pulling. Right. How you doing? Really wiggly. Yeah. What is that? I think it's a huge pile of poo. Huh. Don't knock it down. I don't want to have to deal with it. Keep your mouth closed. <laughs> You're like a monkey. Yeah. Yeah. They don't let me do this at work. No, it's too much safety. Oh, you know, we should have had a safety briefing, right? Yeah, do you do a JHA? What's a JHA? A job hazard analysis. No, I didn't. I didn't analysis anything. Yeah, we got to do them every time. Before you, we start a project. Did you do one before we started uh, this project? No, I thought you were in charge. 
Oh, the person in charge has to do it? Well, that's what I'm going to tell you. Oh. Okay. Well, no, there's no JHA. Huh. It's going to have to be longer. I don't think so. Because that's actually too long. It is. But when it comes over here... Right. What's your angle there? 22 and a half degrees. Oh, that's too... Is too that too much angle? Something. I mean, it's 18. It's 18. <clears throat> well... Degrees. We really need like 45 or... Oh, you need more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's more like a 47 and a half. I think you're just telling me that. No, no. No, that's for real. That's me measuring with my eyeballs. You get the camera lined up so when I come crashing down and land on the bell. You're knocking poo down right now. Well, I didn't have my mouth closed. Whoa, did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? That was a loose board. Oh. Don't step on that one. I don't think they had the same rules about safety when they built this as they do now. Huh. I mean, I don't even know if they'd invented safety yet. So we're working like the old timers that. Yeah, the olden days. The use your head, common sense kind of safety. You want these over top of the bell more? Hang on. I'm grunting right now. It's old man noises. Old man noise. Man. Okay. All right, you want that towards the road a little more? Yeah, if you can. Oh, did you got that all on? Oh, too much, I think. Hold on. Okay, that's probably good. That hangs right over. Yeah, no, I think it's right dead over it. Okay, don't say dead too many times. Oh, yeah, no, I'll wait till you get down. Today's my birthday. It could be my death day. Yeah. And that'd be something. Yeah. 51. 52. 52? Years old. And oh, yeah, I hope dead. I make it to be 52 someday. Yeah. Cause I'm only like 29. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Forgot how young we were. Yeah, I'm holding these big beams cause these little ladder looking things aren't really. Yeah, that's not really a ladder. Very big. All right, here we go. You made it. See what I mean? There's not too much extra there. Yeah. It's a cute little rope. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to pick on that size, but whatever. I think you got that upside down. Oh, you're right. Yeah, because we lose one that way. Yeah. You got it. You're right again, Dave. On your birthday. <laughs> That's two already. Shh. Pay attention, people. Two your rights. It's going to be a quiz later. Who's smarter? <laughs> Oh, I can tell I'm going to win. <laughs> I won't even be around to make an <laughs> argument. No. Look at that. That's gooder. More gooder. Oh, yeah. Just pull you that have right up. you feeling about this? No, not right? at all. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's heavy. <laughs> Look out below! <laughs> so do you think it would stop when it hit the... The floor down below us? I mean, by then it's going to be going like 400 miles an hour. Depends on your <laughs> rope. Assuming that this rope is going <laughs> You're roping <laughs> your tin fast. pulleys there. Just as fast as it can behind I know, it's a block and tackle. It's five to one. Five to one, blah, Thanks. blah, blah. Watch the bearing there. See if it... All right, let me watch. <laughs> Any movement? No. No? No. Well, that's okay. Sure we don't need don't. it to lift it. Sure you don't want a chain fall? I think I'm sure. Okay. Here, let me untie this. I don't think those... You could throw this out the window and hook it to your truck. Oh, yeah. You got enough rope. Leave the keys in it. Somebody <laughs> hop in and drive away. <laughs> This is quite a knot. Are you yeah, a Boy Scout? Rope there. Are you a Boy Scout? 
That's why I learned to tie mid-rope knots. I don't need the end sorted out. See, oh, you got enough yet or? Probably. You're just gonna continue to watch me struggle. Well, I don't mind doing that. I think that's enough. If we do that, we're hitting the wheel. Probably better go to the other side, huh? I hit my hand with a, my finger with a hammer yesterday. You did? Oh. Why'd you do that? I don't know. It wasn't too bad. It was like tender. But then at 2.30 this morning, it woke me up. Oh. Doing this. Is it on the nail? Did you hit right it on, on the, the nail? nail? Is that all color? Oh, yeah. You got to drill that, sucker. So I get up at 2.30 because I can't take it no more. Well, maybe 2.40. I might have tried to take it. And For 10 uh, minutes? Yeah. Tough guy. Really stuck it out. Yeah. And then... I go down cellar and I don't have a tiny drill bit down there. I didn't want to walk down to the garage. Right. In my jammies, you know. So. Yeah. Y'all so getting I, a uh, picture of him in his jammies now? <laughs> so I. Did you pick it up? No. Oh. Um, Cause if you can pick it up, I'll just stick some blocks under it. We'll be done. Let me wrap my hand. I'm gonna tell you this because it's a new trick I taught myself, and maybe you already knew it. Hit your hand with a hammer. Yep. First thing you do always is what? If you want to keep it from doing this, you squeeze, squeeze it. it. All right, hold it tight and squeeze it. Say bad words. Well, if you want, you can. And then a lot of times that'll keep the blood from coming, right? Uh -huh. Well, this one came so slow, it didn't come till middle of the night. It didn't start hurting real bad. So. I don't have a drill bit, so I go, I don't know what happens if I squeeze it. Oh, I latched onto that thing, and I probably held it for three, five minutes. Seemed like an hour, but uh -huh. like tears in my eyes. It, it, was a, it hurt a lot. Did you wake your wife up doing no, all this? No, she slept right through it. Really? I let go of it, and there's no pain. No pain. I took some Advil, went to bed, slept the rest of the night, woke up, didn't even hurt. Huh. Oh, here's another trick. Sleep on it. Cuts blood off. When you wake up, it's all numb anyways. Nice. Doesn't hurt. Huh. Okay, that's the, it for that's Dr. That's it for Dr. Scott. Now back to the project we were on. <clears throat> Was that a sponsored commercial there? Or? For Dr. Scott? Yeah. I don't, I'm not a doctor. I know I've told you that I am, but I'm not. All right, here, tie your mid-rope I gotta move. This thing is heavy. <laughs> you make those noises? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> you want a mid rope? Nah. Like a, just a double half hitch and a hooey? Yeah, whatever works. That'll slow it down. Yeah, that's all it's going to do anyway. <laughs> <sighs> so you think. <sighs> Because, honestly, I think, worst case scenario, this thing would be in the balcony, down inside the sink. I don't think the floor down below us would hold it either. No, I don't either. <clears throat> With momentum. Just so we get that out there. You know what's going to happen, too? We've both said it. Now it's on video. When this goes, <laughs> we're going it's to. going to go crash, crash. Even if you hold out of this, <laughs> what, you call the ladder? Yeah, it's not a ladder. Yeah. It's gonna take out our uh, aluminum ladder uh -huh. to get us up here. Uh -huh. We got no way down. Oh, down's not hard. Oh, you know, I got another rope right here. I can fashion it around your waist and lower you. That's no, fine. What's next? I'm gonna remove that thing so we don't have to worry about blocking over that. I already tapped it and made sure it was loose. It's got a big booger on it though. I got a file. <laughs> Cause it moved but it wouldn't go through oh you got them fancy things you flash on three weeks later yeah you even your file did i ever tell you the story about the two bell ringers that used to ring this bell no i never did no. some people think it's a funny story but i think it's <clears throat> awful Mostly. It's kind of a oh, long story. It is? Well, yeah. Do you have a short version? No, no, you can't really shorten it. Oh. Somebody die? Yeah, a couple guys. Really? 
couple bell, couple people that ring this bell were dead. Tight Did job, they but... die on the job, like mid? Just, just wait, okay? The story's right. coming. You're gonna have to wait for it. I asked for a short version. They needed just after the little while after the Civil War. They needed a bell ringer. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, there's no money. Everybody was broke, poor, and the the rope for this bell had been broken. And this guy, so they took applications for the job, and this guy came and applied for the job. Guy's a Civil War vet. He's got no arms. And they said, well, first thing we got to do is put a new rope on, but when we do, I don't see how you're going to ring the bell. So he brings him up here, right up those very steps we just took. Really? Well, not the aluminum ladder. That wasn't here. Oh. They get up here, <clears throat> and that guy... Steps back, gets a little running start, and he, I mean, what you can get up here, and he wails that thing with his face. Made the most beautiful ring that I've ever heard. He said, you're hired, and we don't have to put a rope up. So they're saving money, right? Right. Yep. So that guy, I don't know his name, but he went on ring the bell for years. And, uh... One day he's up here, and it's probably a day like this, just a little bit slippery snow and stuff. Man, he goes for it, and he misses the bell right out. Really? Right out the thing and down on the sidewalk. <clears throat> Dead, obviously. Hmm. So the people are gathering around. It's not funny. I shouldn't be laughing. People gather. Man lost his life for pizza. Right. You know? People are gathering around, and saying who is that what why is he on the sidewalk splattered <clears throat> finally somebody came along and said man I, he looks so familiar to me but i just can't think who the heck he is i don't know but he does you know i don't know his name but his face rings bell <laughs> What's so funny about that? <laughs> it's horrible. The guy's dead for Pete's yeah, sake. Right. You know? His face rings a bell. So <clears throat> now, once again, they need another bell ringer. So they they go in search of again. Give her the wiggle, Dave. Mm-hmm. There. They go in search of again, and it turns out that uh, that guy's brother is uh, out of a job, and he's looking for work. So he applies. They said, well, imagine our luck. You know, this guy's got arms, but he knew just how that other guy rang it with his face, you know, his head. So, still don't have to put a rope up. It's, we're good to go. They hire this guy, right? Years go by. He's up here, rings the bell every Sunday, whatever. Wouldn't you know it, one day, he makes a run for the bell and misses it. Same deal. I don't know if it was the same side of the building, but he right. goes out and on the sidewalk <clears throat> and then there of course they're all same deal a bunch of you know the locals all gather around and wondering what the heck this dead guy on the sidewalk's all about and trying to figure out who he is and why he's there and whatever and one guy comes along and says well i don't know why he's here, but that's, you know, whatever. Joe Blow's guy that used to ring the bell. He knew him. That's that's his brother. I guarantee it. He's a dead ringer for his brother. <laughs> this is not the comedy show. <laughs> See, because he, no, I don't think you get it. Because he rang for his brother. Poor guy gave his life. Now he's dead. 
All you do is make fun of them. You know what I don't have is a tape measure. What are you going to measure? Well, I thought we'd measure around and get our three spaces equal, but I guess oh. we don't care that much, do Triangulation. we? Triangulation. Do the uh, hypotenuse of the biatony. Maybe it'd be smart to do the third, third one right in the middle, and then we could do one, two, and then three right in the middle on your side. Sure. Does that make more sense? Sure. It's the whole system, huh? Well, it sort of is, yeah. There we go. I mean, I don't know much about bells. It is wiggly up there. <laughs> yeah, that's really neat. You know this work. right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I spun it myself. Remember I told you I wanted help spinning it? Yeah. I just grabbed it and it spun right around. Huh. Yeah. Okay. There's that. Whoop. Oh, we'll ring the bell. People will get excited. Ring my bell. It's a song, right? Um, I think so. I'll take your word for it. You know the words to it? Ring my bell. No, that's Jingle ring. Bells. Oh. It's really got some grip shit. So I brought some ratchet straps. Yeah? I wonder if we wrap them around the wedge stack. If we could just ratchet strap it up. Got screws or nails or anything? I got nails and a hammer. When all's said and done, somehow in this process, this axle's got to end up probably two inches. Really? The new bearing is higher, you know. Huh. Okay. I found a bearing that is going to bolt right onto those two holes. So I don't have to make an adapter plate or anything. Nice. I think it's time to go around and loosen up bolts. Okay. You stink? <sighs> just going to loosen them right up. Just, just loosen, though. Not taking off in. Wow, look at that. 160 years old. Starting to spread out the teeth here yeah, already. See so. that. That's loose. Probably loose enough for now. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, look at that. I would have never guessed that would come apart that easy. Of course, no. they ain't out yet, are they? No. <laughs> Still plenty of time to break that bolt off. This one, yeah, you're going to have to hold the other end. I brought a smaller adjustable tube. <clears throat> now, are you going to try to tighten the belt up now or reassembly? I. Here's what I'd like to do today. Not just take these, but I'd like to take this thing off the bell so I can take this baffle out because that needs the new leathers put on it. So I'm hoping to take that apart today also. Okay. I guess we won't know till we try it. Okay. You got it. Okay, that one's way loose because that doesn't hold anything important. Now I'll hold this one. Uh, this is special end oh that's got a, a bunch of nails driven in it doesn't it <laughs> yeah there's not a knot there's no knot okay i remember that now this side's got a nail holding the yeah it's special all right i think i might have a nail taker outer you do i think so oh it's a big one though i didn't bring a small one yeah a nail putter in her i do and it has a smaller nail taker outer built in. I feel like some old guy worked really hard at this and I feel a little bit bad taking it apart. I mean, not that much bad, but a little. Yeah. You want a smaller one or? Um, well, I'm gonna drive that pin to you, right? Yeah, if it'll go. I mean, they got them nails wedged in there pretty good. That's just the bolt stopper. Are you going to put a real bolt in there? It just needs a nut on it, right? Uh, there's no threads. Oh, it's broke off. Well, I guess there is threads. I, I'm, I'll either put a nut on that one or else I'll put a new bolt in, yes. 
Can you fire up the forge and forge me a new <sighs> bolt with a T yeah. head like that? Absolutely. Great. Uh, Hopefully it comes out. I'm not used to having microphones on. I just burped right in their ear. <laughs> Sorry about that. She moving. Now you got a driver? I doubt it. Oh, I got a nail in my pocket though. Big long one? Pretty long. She moving. Russ already got some nice straight green oak. He's going to remake this piece here really? and this piece that runs across here, which I think will take the wobble right out of it. You're pushing the top one out. Look at that. There. But was that sticking out enough to put a nut on, you think, or no? Yes. Okay. It's sticking out enough. It's just the threads might need a little work. Yeah, I can run a die on it. Die like the bell ringer did, you know? Yeah. Yep. That's awful. Isn't it an awful yeah, story? It is an awful story. I probably messed it up some. I always screw up jokes, you know. Yeah, it took a long time to tell it. Well, it's a long joke. The good ones are worth waiting for. They are? Yeah. Huh. There's a couple of locking nails over here. Let's leave it right there. Okay. Have you ever told Kenny Bain that bell ringing story? I think so. Huh. But I'll tell it to him again. <laughs> Upon your request. Think he watches your videos? I don't, I don't think anybody watches my videos, do oh, they? Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that one guy over in Salem. He likes them. Did you pay him? No. Oh, you don't? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking about. The guy in Salem. Weird. Yeah. Super weird guy. I mean, really cool. Can I have that big nail taker outer? Yep. I'm going to take out these big nails. Why you got to take out. that out? Because I got to get a wrench under here to get oh, on the bottom of that. Gotcha. And I think in order to get this wheel out, we're going to have to like, mm, yeah, give this a little wheel, wheel, pull her out there. Oh, that's how we're jacking it up. Yeah, but I still don't think the wheel will fit out <clears throat> around the bell. I don't know. We'll see. I don't, I, 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 believe it or not, I've never done this before. Hmm. Have you? No. I don't know his name, but <laughs> face rings a bell. <laughs> That's a good one. That whole story was fake. It was just a joke. Like a two joke and one joke. Got it. You knew? I, yeah, I kind of knew. Oh, see, I yeah. thought you'd think it was like a real story. Yeah, no. And you'd be like, <gasps> what happened next? <laughs> the dead ringer for his brother. <laughs> That's because his brother was the ringer and then he took his place. That's a big nail. Yeah. What do you think the people of your video are thinking right now? And they can't even see us. All they're looking at is the bell. <laughs> yeah, just listening to us. <laughs> Staring at the bell. Hey. Why don't you go over and dance or something? Did you want me to sing happy birthday to you? No. No, my pa did this morning. Did he call you? Yeah, he called me and oh, sang nice. happy birthday. Ain't that nice? Yeah. Ooh, she's a ringer. Might be the last time you hear it, folks. <laughs> no, they'll hear it when it hits the basement. <laughs> Everybody's gonna hear that. My name would be Mud. Wow, boy. I win. Sucker was engineered in there. Yeah. You see, uh, you, you probably don't watch any of my videos, but one of them I found a couple liquor bottles when I was shoveling all the poop out up here. Really? Yeah, and I remember you always saying you got to have PPE. Yeah. Well, I kept, I kept a mason jar over there in case you got to go. Oh, PPE. Right. This might be too big. Eepers. I did bring actual wrench wrenches. That fits it. That's it. This is crazy how rusty they look, and yet they just pop right loose. That wrench, there's a big one. Sure is. Do you ever wonder if bats ever try to swim? Swim? Yeah. Don't they look like they'd be wicked good swimmers? Like yeah. their bat, their wings are like, uh, what's that thing that swimming things have? Flippers? Flippers, yeah. Fins? Whoa. 
What's the matter? I don't know if that's going to come <laughs> off. I've been soaking it. And you soaking have? it. And soak. I've been coming up here day after day just to soak these bolts with penetrating oil. I think it's just going to breeze right off there. You do? Yep. Oh, look how it spins. Yeah. Spun them wedges right out of there. Yeah. And got these straps right in the way. I mean, we could take them off for now. <sighs> still well, completely... once we uh, take this off, they're going to be doing nothing anyway. Right. I mean, I don't want to take it off. I just wanted to break it loose. Same story with all of these. Just break them loose. What can I do for you? Hold the bell? Hold the bell. Holding the bell. Let me use this wrench wrongly. Bang my head on it. Ring it. Yeah, it ain't turning. Hold on. Let's tap these wedges in. That should hold the bell. If it ain't gonna, then yeah. we're wasting our time. I lost a wedge. I can get it. I got it. I brought a wedge tapper. They're snug. Yeah, you want them a little higher though? You want to actually lift the axle? Yeah, definitely we want to before we're done, but should we try to loosen that nut now? You're in charge I here. mean, you're the one that's done this before, I don't know. I, I've never taken a bell out before in my life. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's kinda, try the nut. I feel like you kind of misrepresented your qualifications there. <laughs> What, I said I'd go out to lunch with you? <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, meet me at church. <laughs> Bring some huge straps. That should have been a dead giveaway for you. Something Never said I was up. smart. It's true. Just spinning right off like... No. Oh. It's a good one. Do you look at the top of this at all? Here, hold this. Top of what? This nut. Yeah, where all the rust is. Yeah. Yeah. It really looks good. I looks wish good. I could get this wrench down like it's supposed to be. Like that? Yeah, yeah. See that all wiggling? The whole thing's turning, isn't it? Yeah. Tap me, on that while I hold steady pressure. Tap on the nut? Yes. No movement? I think it turned a little. Very little. I'll tell you what we're not doing. We're not heating it up with a torch. Three times now I have woken up in a cold sweat with a bad dream that I burnt the church down doing something up here. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I talked myself out of putting boiled linseed oil on this. You did? Because I'm afraid it's going to spontaneously combust and burn a church down. That's how bad it's gotten. That's not even possible, is it? Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> I'd leave one rag laying here. Right. And take off. I'm going to tighten these wedges up. Is it possible that the inner dinger can spin I don't know I'm anything's possible at this point oh yeah it definitely spin the question is maybe I can use it to hold it that's not a question is it <laughs> no a question is a statement is not that's not I think right I don't do the English thing goodly oh yeah look at that yeah yeah that's me uh, that's the wrong way right yeah that was the wrong way whoa how's that it was the right way, but more. I don't think it'll go more. Oh, it's not all them noises I'm making. Yeah, this is safe, here. right? Pulling on this bigger wrench. Yeah, sure. What's the worst that could happen? Is that old dinger? Yeah, it is. 
I cannot try again. <sighs> nope, I cannot hold it. That's really rusted. Yeah. This was one of the things. I'm like, I'm not grinding these rivets off up here because to hold the leather on. Yeah. Because I don't want the sparks flying around. Making myself crazy with this. So what so did the, that move? It moved the leather things? Moved those things, yeah. And the clapper. So like right now it wouldn't ring because it's not it's the wrong way, you know what I mean? But the bell didn't turn, right? So no. that must go right right up through the center. And it just holds it all. So that has to be loose too. That's why the bell spins. And it's not Maybe we should to. try to tighten. Try to tighten it. Maybe break it loose. Now I got to spin my wrench around. That should be easy. I'll just use my pipe wrench backwards. Not spinning the whole thing. Kind of scared of putting too much on this thing because if I break that, it's. I don't think you can buy a new one. No, I'm pretty sure you can't. We need a torch. Hate that nut. I'm not. We're not doing. I just said. I know that's exactly what we need. Even a burns matic would mm -hmm. do it. Burns a burns a torch. <laughs> Church down. <laughs> Uh, you realize this whole video will be used as evidence if something <laughs> happens. <laughs> Wait a minute, can you blur my face no, out in case no, something bad happens? No, can't do it, Dave. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> can't see me anyway, can you? Hello? Nah, no, they can't see you. Can you bang the donger up? I don't really know what you mean. <laughs> Is that uh, like a taper in that thing, maybe? I'm holding the clapper right now. Is that right. what you mean? No, will it go up? Is there any way, maybe? Oh. That it... Boy, I don't think so. I mean, that's just the slack in the pin. All right. I thought this was going to be easy. <laughs> you thought this was just going to be lunch. Try it again, Dave. Let me, let me see. Which way are you going? Which way do you want me to go? I'd go the loosening way. Oh yeah, I'm professional. Great. Right, what do you want me to do now? Just, just show me which way you're you're going. I'm gonna go that way. Okay, hold on. That's loosening. Can you go back the other way? I'm gonna try putting the bar in here. Oh boy. And hopefully not breaking anything. Try that. Okay, you ready? Maybe. Nope. Nope. Ow. Ooh, that's oh, bad. That yeah. <laughs> And turn it back? No, I got it. <laughs> Ooh, thing you're a doctor. Don't yeah. get your bad finger in there. I did. It's your other hand. So now I got, you know, two bad ones. More hitting? Well, yeah. Maybe I take this wrench out of the way. Do some hitting. Do some hitting. Maybe some cleaning on, on the, the flats. Clean off it, the paint. Almost. Get some penetrating oil down in there. Not going is it it looks like it but thing. i think the whole thing turns you got another banger um yep let me scratch this all right off. you scratch at it maybe we can get the oil down in there i hope this video is not a letdown a lot of people waiting for this. What do you mean? Nobody watches them. No. <laughs> uh, I've heard some people watched it. Oh, you mean a let down like the bell down into the basement? No, that's what I hope we don't do. But. <laughs> that would be a disappointment, wouldn't it? That ain't going to happen, right? No. You bang too. You bang that way. going i think it is is this how the impact wrench was invented <laughs> i think so what do you think the neighbors are thinking right now what is the matter with what, the bell what's going on what is ken bain doing
We should invent a wrench that automatically impacts. While turning? Yeah. Wow. How would we power it? With a water wheel, of course. With a water wheel. <laughs> what do you see down there? That whole baffle is spun. Let me try to hold it. Okay. I think we spun the whole thing. We might have. I think it was an optical illusion. Go ahead, just try it. Here, pick a bigger one. All right, thanks. Oh, hold on. I'm holding the wrong way. Because I'm not smart. Okay, try that. Well, wait a minute. What? Now it seems like I'm holding the wrong way. Was it was it actually going that first couple hits? It's hard to tell. The light is like blinding me. Try that. It's probably my aura. It's not moving. I'm making it go the opposite way that you're trying to go, right? I think you are, yes. Yes. Okay. My nut is not liking what I'm doing to it. I don't suppose it'd be righty loosey. I mean, anything's possible. Can't see the tip of the thread, can you? I'm kind of blind. Should have brought a wire brush with me. Oh, look at what I got. A wire brush. Uh, I can't see the tip of the thread. This, see, this one looks kind of rolled over over here. Yeah. Well, we can just try going that way. The opposite way? I mean, worst case, if we, <coughs> get, if we could get this straight and that tight so the bell don't spin, I can deal with the leather. It's got to go a little bit more that way. Right there is straight. Not moving. Probably guys that are like bell restoration people watching this. Whatever going, you do, don't hit it with a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these guys. And a pipe wrench. That's, we think is. That would be Lucy. the right way. Nah, it turned so easy now. We, yeah. we really freed it up. I think this was the problem. This was why the bell was spinning for all them years, and it's not supposed to be. It's because this ain't quite tight enough. Let me stick my head in up here. Is that loud in there? Yeah, it sure is. Right there, it's gonna go dong ding instead of ding dong. Oh boy. I'm gonna try impacting while holding, spinning, and turning. Are you ready? Uh, doubt it. Hold on. I, I can't, uh, I can't hold you back there. You're unstoppable, Dave. I know. Try that. Okay, here we go. Now, not moving. No. Huh? How about that? Is that like flaked up? Like it moved? No, I guess not. I think it's all in your mind. Yeah. Dreaming that it moved. That would be nice. So my side looks rolled. Go over there. Yeah. Like they. Peened it so it wouldn't unthread. Right. Let's try, I'll hold the wrench and try going tighter with it. If that's the case, then it should go on, right? Well, maybe. Get over here. And let me know when you're ready. I think I'm ready. No, I can't hold it back. Hmm. What size is that knot? I think it was three and a half. What if we fix the axles for now? Okay. Yep. 
get that all back together and supported right here. Yeah. <clears throat> and we don't have any of this other crap here. Right. And then we get a three and a half inch socket with an impact. We could even get <clears throat> three quarter battery impact. You got one? Serious power, huh? Wait a minute, they've already invented an impact wrench? Yeah. Oh. I didn't want to let you down, but Dang. I had to. So then we could put that on there and rattle it. Brrrt. Right. And we could bring a torch with us. Yeah. But yeah. we don't have any of that today. Right. <laughs> and this don't need to happen <laughs> right now. So. so maybe we just continue here. Carry on. That sounds like a... And that'll be part whatever plan to this video. 724. Yep. I just hope you don't get too old to be able to come up and down that ladder by the time this project's I done. I'll have a big beard yep. down to here. You'll have to live up here. Yeah. Like the old man in the belt. Quasi Scotto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what do you think about the ratchet straps around the block? Is that stupid? Seems like it might just make them go, yeah. Coon dogs. Here's what I'm talking about. And then when you ratchet it, in theory, it just closes up the wedge, right? I don't know. Is it sliding the whole thing or? No, it's just the top's coming to me. It is? Let me have that other hammer. The one with the head that comes off. Yep. We better take up a different one. Okay. Yeah, this one's all loose and it was tight. Are we defeating gravity right now, Dave? I don't know if we are. Oops, no, it's thing's slide. coming. Let me do mine. Okay, here you go. Want me to hold it? Yeah, hold here. it. That sucker's heavy. Got it? I don't know. It's going a little bit, but it's also sliding some. Keep going? Yeah, sure. Oh, we lifted. This is the way the uh, people with the pyramids did it, you know. Try that. Is this safe place for me to be? Yeah, until the bell falls. All right. What do you think? I don't know. I couldn't see anything. I just had to hold it. See no liftage. The side definitely is up a little. Um, Ooh. why does that move so easy with the ratchet strap? Look at that. I don't know. No, look how high up it is. Yeah, I know. I don't understand it. I don't either. Well, let's put ratchet strap on the other ones, huh? <clears throat> Try that strap. I, I only had two of this style. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start pushing that right out through the roof. Huh? That actually worked. Over there? Yeah. Oh wow. This one over here has got a lot of weight on it too. It does? Yeah, it's gouged right into the wood. Yeah, that's what mine's doing. This side is not up at all yet. No. You got another Ooh, set. There she of goes. Did you feel that? Yeah, we got a little liftage. Another set of picker uppers. Yeah, there's at least that. I think there's another one too. You got another block? Or some of those blocks? Yeah, there's these. Some of them. All right, this is one of those times where I hate technology. Battery died on the 
GoPro and I just, we were, we were making good progress here and I didn't want to stop to mess around with it. So we just kept going and now I'm showing you the aftermath. Here's where we're at. We got the bell locked up. It's really sturdy. Um, those straps hold the wedges from sliding. Plus I drove a nail in each one. Uh, it's really, it feels really sturdy sitting there. I don't think there's any problems there. We weren't able to get the top off. We're gonna deal with that when we put it all back together. We'll, we'll try to get the, I'll have to paint the top in place, but we are gonna try to get that big nut off the top there and get the, uh, I gotta get that clapper baffle out and get it cleaned up, painted up and get the new leather on it because it's doing a number on the clapper now wearing through it. Uh, so that'll be after we put it back together. But one good news thing is we were able to get the, the frames off that it rides on the big a frames on both sides they came right off easy we had to take this one off to get the wood wheel off for russell to work on and it came off so easy i decided we'll just do this one too that way i can take all that stuff to the shop and then when we bring it back i won't have quite so much to do up here it'll be a much better job because this i'll probably just have to scrub at with the wire wheels best i can so that's where we're at it's uh Sitting here, it's stable. We got uh, room here for Russell. He's gonna come and tear into that wheel, get that fixed. And I'm gonna get to the shop and get the new axles in and get everything cleaned up and painted. And maybe Saturday, I don't know, we'll be putting her back together. We already lowered everything down with a rope. I'm gonna get down out of here and get everything to the truck. Get back to the house. Look at that. Dave got all the parts hauled all the way down to the curb for me. How's your coffee, Dave? Good, perfect. Dave worked hard. You know what, Dave? I'm gonna give you a raise on this job. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, another 15%. All right. All right. Thanks to Dave, we got all this stuff apart. All the parts are laying here. My next video will probably be a machine shop video where I'll be putting the new axles in these and I got to clean all this stuff up and get it primered and painted. I'm really glad these came down through the hole and, and came apart okay because it's going to be a lot nicer looking finished product just because I'll be able to I put a wire wheel on the grinder I'll get these all cleaned up really nice and uh, get a coat of primer and paint on them they should come out really really nice looking um, so that that's going to be good and then we'll go back up and get her put back together and i got a whole bunch of other work to do up there still but uh, in the meantime my friend russ is going to work on the, the wooden part of the wheel and i'm hoping to have it all back together so next sunday he can ring it for church but uh it's not a big deal if we don't it's not really a necessity so but, but that's a goal, you know, you gotta set a goal. So that's what we're gonna try for. We've cleared another hurdle in the uh, ongoing saga of the church bell. It's all apart, it's in my shop. That's a good situation. Um, we'll, we'll keep moving the ball forward here this week. Uh, special thanks to Dave, my buddy Dave. It certainly was made a whole lot easier by having him there. So I'm going to let you go so I can get to it and um, I'll be putting up another video showing you the machining of that old iron and uh, we'll get those prepped and ready to go back together. Hopefully in a week's time here we'll we'll be reversing the process and hopefully the weather will be even a little bit nicer. I want to thank you for spending your time with me. Uh, go surf around my channel. See if there's any other things you like, want to see. Make sure you tell your friends. You know, they need to be watching regularly the Town Tinker. The best way to watch regularly, click subscribe, click the little bell. Yeah, yeah see what I did there? And uh, YouTube will do what it does, you know. Just got to let it happen, that's all. So send them a text right now. Say, hey, make sure you go on and watch this, this, this guy, <laughs> the Town Tinker. He's a lot like the Village Idiot. His face definitely rings a bell. Thanks for spending your time with me. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.